Hello there, and welcome to Fortnite Save the World. I'm Salty Gamer Man Boy, and in this video, we are continuing to go over or through the collection book. And the next one on the list is Survivalist Jonesy. So let's take a a closer look at him. Okay, starting off with level 1. Advanced tactics. Ranged weapon damage increased by 10%. Health increased by 10%. Okay, that's the same as all soldiers. Um, and still at level 1, we have Shockwave. Okay, so cost 30 energy. Cooldown 25 seconds. The soldier emits a Shockwave knocking back enemies within one tile range. And dealing 21,567.9 energy damage. Okay, so it sounds like he's going to have a pretty good shockwave there. Sounds like. <laughs> okay, uh, at level 2 we have uh, debilitating shots. Uh, dealing range damage applies one stack of vulnerability increasing damage taken from all sources by 5% on the target. For 15 seconds stacks up to three times okay so at level five we have the survivalist which he is and killing an enemy with an ability or weapon recovers 10 base health per second over three seconds kills reset the healing duration will not activate on full health okay so when you kill enemies you're gonna be healed it sounds like so we'll have to watch out for that. I think he's probably going to be um, perhaps ability based on healing, self-healing. Okay. Um, at level 8 we have assault damage. Increased assault weapon damage by 24%. Okay. And at level 10 we have on our ability bar the frag grenade. Costs 45 energy. Costs 1 ammo frag grenades. Ammo regen time is zero seconds. The soldier throws a frag grenade detonating after a few seconds dealing 23,938.0 energy damage in a 0.5 tile radius. The soldier creates maximum of three grenades. Grenades generate every 25 seconds. So it, it seems to me like it's not going to be the uh, the frag grenade perks I don't know I don't uh, I, I guess unless they're adding on to it you can only have three at a time it sounds like because I've had uh, soldiers that had the the perk and it had five in their inventory but I could only throw three and it had a cooldown time and then I could throw the other two by the time I got to be able to throw the other two, one was already generated, so I had three to throw again. And, you know, it just, it seemed like it defeated the purpose. If you have five frag grenades, why can't you throw all five at the same time? <laughs> Doesn't make sense. But anyway, okay. At level 12, uh, no time to bleed. Doubles the ammo healed. Uh, doubles the amount healed by survivalist when the enemy is killed so when the enemy is killed I guess while you're doing damage to them you're healing and then when the enemy has killed it's gonna give you uh, the double double the amount of healing okay so he should be a fast healer it should be like you know he gets paper cut BAM he's healed up or he gets you know he gets a flesh wound he's healed up okay at level 15 a uh, quick clip increase reload speed by 30 percent okay um at level 18 we got clean living increase base base health by 20 percent so he's starting off healthy he's going to be healing self-healing himself and he's going to be now even more healthier at level 18 okay um at level 20 we have on our ability bar going commando it's going to be his minigun. Costs 50 energy. Cooldown is 100 seconds. Fires 18 times per second. Dealing 
925.24 physical damage per shot for 10 seconds. Okay, at level 25 we have Waste Not What Not, increases ammo capacity for all weapons by 40%. And then we have the Flap Vest, uh, reduces damage taken by 60%. The reduction drops by 15% each time the soldier is hit. Regen 15% every 10 seconds for the reduction if the reduction is lower than 60%. Um, basically, he's not going to be taking as much damage. He's going to be giving damage, but he's not going to be taking as much damage. So you can be up there. Uh, it sounds to me like you can be up there. We're, we're going to try them out, though. We don't know these words. <laughs> they sometimes don't mean anything. Okay. Tough soldier who can rapidly heal themselves by defending, by defeating enemies. Okay. Let's, what does he have to bring to the table if he is in the secondary slot? He cannot be in the third slot he can be in the third slot but he's just he's gonna give you a health boost a little bit but not much anyone in the third slot that doesn't have a third um ability will give you some kind of health or a benefit so if you don't have anything else put somebody in there but anyway in the secondary slot he has a support bonus of armored gives 14 percent Damage resistance. Support bonuses are applied to your primary hero when your hero is in the support slot. I just realized that I didn't go over my secondaries. Okay. So in my secondary slot, I have Master Grenader Ramirez for the assault damage. Increased assault weapon damage by 24%. Support bonuses are applied by your, to your primary hero when they're in the secondary slot. Okay, and I have a Bullet Storm Jonesy, um, giving ammo recovery, cooldown one second, damage an enemy with an assault weapon has 16% chance to generate one ammo for the equipped weapon, does not stack in the regular uh, ammo recovery perk. Okay, so I have those abilities there. There are other abilities that you could put on this person. But uh, I have chosen those. I could have explosive rounds. I could have armor. I could have, you know, it, the sky's the limit on the combination of what you can have on there. It just depends on how you play. Since he is an up close and personal kind of, you know, healer, I didn't have any healing abilities or anything like that on there. So I have damage, and, you know, he can give damage and he can take damage. That's the way I have them set up. That's the way we're playing with them. So, anyway, let's get started. Okay. Let's try a, uh, a frag grenade and then we'll do a shockwave. Okay. Wow, look at that. Oh, that was the propane blow up. Okay. Nice. Look at that. Oh, almost got him. Knocked him back, though. Alright. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm done here. Okay, run himself off the cliff there. Okay, can you get off of that sword, please? Thanks, that would be great. All right. Okay, we're gonna have to do another minigun here for him. Do another minigun test. Ammo. Oh, okay. Okay, stop running around, dude. 
you've taken way too much time already. Don't, don't, don't run around. Taking too long, but that's a that was a good test. I still didn't get any of my. Look how fast that shield is, though. That shield is fast. That's what I want to see in in other characters. If your shield regeneration is, I mean, it's what it says it's supposed to be, then it should be doing that all the time. I've been. You know, sitting there waiting on shield regeneration for a long time with other characters. And it's just like, okay, hurry up, hurry up. I'm not in danger anymore. Hurry up, you know. And you're sitting back waiting until... Because you're one hit away from dying and your shield ain't coming back. That's, uh, you know... That's, that's awful, you know, because you're like, oh, man, you know, you're kind of stuck. Okay, look at how much distance we have here. That's quite a bit of distance. There. That's what I'm talking about. That's what should be happening there. But, I was further away this time. So, from here to that corner of that house right there. That's a long, you gotta be a long ways off in order for it to actually work. And then the bullets aren't really effective that far out, it seems. So, cause it's, you know, it's, I, I've, I've noticed like the further away you are from somebody, like I was shooting somebody with a grave digger or, you know, a husk with a grave digger and it, you know, normally up close it takes less than a clip to kill one, but you know, in depending on what what range, uh, you know, like uh, 82 or something like that. Um, we'll just say for uh, level 82 uh, husk, this range right here, it would take more than a full clip if they were at that corner of the house right there. The closer you get, the lesser it takes. But so for the minigun, that you know that that doesn't make sense. It's like okay, you have to be this far away. In order to be, in order to take one down, and I was a lot closer that last husk. I was about this this close from you know the husk to where I'm at right now. I was about that close, and he rammed and charged me, and he went off the cliff. But yeah, I don't know how that works. I don't know. The closer it seemed like to be more damage, be more more damage uh, to the enemy. And that's the way the physics of the game were, the or are, they still are. So I don't I don't understand that ratio there. So anyway, let's try out something else here. Let's see. Let's do this storm chest here. Be a good uh, good test. Okay. I'm going to throw up one of those just to help me out a little bit here. Shockwave. Okay, cool. Got even the shield buggers. Okay. Something is preventing me from uh, even throwing a grenade? Really? Come on. I only able to throw one grenade. Okay. Okay. Come on, give... Okay, they're all energy. They're energy thieves. Okay, so it's not going to work too well. Man, but look at how much damage he is taking. That is a lot... That was a lot of energy. Or that was a, a lot of... A lot of damage taken. Okay. 
there was you know definitely should have died there I you know in any normal character definitely should have died but I didn't which is awesome come here let's do some physical damage to you there we go all right and I, I noticed that the health went up too whenever I, I did some damage to her I pull you out we're gonna try it out on this group here I'm gonna get them all all coming after me here let's get rid of the uh, let's get rid of these I don't like them wandering around on me okay nice get a really good shockwave it's more than decent at least it's a really good shockwave I'd say it's up there with the uh, Spitfire it's a pretty decent shockwave okay let's see how his uh, grenades are gonna work here let's get everybody all together come on all together grenades are good too if you're in the blast range By you. Okay, so grenades are good. Um, the minigun is decent. Shockwave is pretty awesome. And he heals. He self heals. I've been noticing him heal himself um, quite a bit there. So, yeah, definitely a good character. Definitely a, a big improvement from uh, Sergeant Jonesy. Get Survivalist Jonesy. He is the be He is the better one of. Here it comes of uh all of the junk he's right up there with spitfire in, in my category of you know how i'm gonna rank him so far i can't believe it i do enjoy uh using the ramirez that is a that's another good one we're gonna be getting into um i think not the next one but the one after that but anyway definitely if you get the chance to get him, and if you don't have him, get him. He's a good hero to have. He's he's well all around. And I mean, as you can see in that uh, that storm chest, um, I was being dogpiled like crazy. But I I know there was like two times that I should have died, but his health kept me alive. I mean, he's got a really good health uh, regeneration there. So. Um, <laughs> if you like being up front and up close and, and dealing damage, this guy is definitely one to get. So anyway, that's been my review. Definitely get him. So uh, I like him. I like him. He's a good character. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.